Welcome back to the channel. We've got a brand new episode of Home Course. We're in Oklahoma City with our first repeat guest, Taylor Gooch. Taylor's coming off an incredible season with Live Golf where he was crowned the individual champion. Last year when we had the pleasure of touring Taylor's home, he took us through a tour of his new house being built, which they're currently living in. So we're gonna head down the street and go check it out. And believe me, he's got the most incredible complex inside of his home with the full sim, gym. It's every golfer's dream. So let's go check it out. When I'm not on the course hacking it up, making double, triple bogeys, or roasting professional golfers on the internet, I like to relax, put my feet in the sand, enjoy the sun, and throw down an ice cold Corona Premier. But unfortunately for me, even when I'm on the course, my feet tend to still be in the sand, in the bunker. My golf game might not be Premier, but my light beer is. What's up, dude? House has come to life, man. Yes, sir. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us again, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Dude, it looks unbelievable. Yeah, it's nice to finally be home, you yeah. know? It's been a while, so it's been years in the process, years in the making, and uh, finally, finally come together. Yeah, last time we were here, it was just uh, framing and some sheetrock and some concrete. How you been, good? Good, man, good, good. Just enjoying the holidays and ready to uh, ready to get the, the season going here in, in the next few weeks. Your family is uh, growing, so you got another one coming here. Yeah, any day, right? Yeah, yeah. Any day. Uh, I mean, what's today? Friday. I mean, Wednesday is is. If he doesn't get here by Wednesday, that's when he'll be getting <laughs> here. So, yeah, any day now. That's awesome, man. Your little girl have a good Christmas. Good yeah. Holiday. Yeah, man. Great. It was. Uh, Man, it's so cool to, she's two and a half years old now, and so like, she knows who Santa is. Like, she knows that there's gonna be presents under the tree, so it was fun to get to experience that, and, and you know, just to see the joy in your, your kid's eyes is, is the best. Yeah, that's great, man. This, this is unbelievable. So you guys really have quite the, the pad here, man. Yeah, man, it, it, it turned out good, you know? Like I was saying, my wife and I, with all of our travels, we get to see a bunch of cool houses, and different architecture around the world. And so everywhere we're traveling, we're like, oh, that's cool, that's a good idea. And so, like I was saying, this has been years in the making with, you know, our vision, um, you know, even like this, like this island, we wanted this to be like a centerpiece of the house, like yeah. a, a big kitchen island where we're gonna eat all of our meals, people are gonna come over and gather here. And um, so like this, you know, this whole area was built around this island and then, you know, the the sliding doors in the back, you know, when the weather is good, not like it is right now, <laughs> yeah. like open those up and kind of have the indoor outdoor living space and, you know, a place that we can have a bunch of friends and family over and just, you know, enjoy some camaraderie. Yeah, I mean, this is the ultimate place to entertain people. So all your families around here in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's good to, you know, have my parents nearby and Allie's parents are, are not too far down the road as well. So it's, it's good. Yeah. Dude, this is incredible, man. Yeah, the pocket doors are sick. I can imagine on a nice warm day with the pool and yeah. the putting green back there. Can't wait to check that out. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, so coming off a great year last year, man, it was like dream year for you playing just lights out, made a ton of money, but just also just made it just a huge footprint in the game of golf. So dude, hats off to you for all the success that you went through. So it was, it was fun to see, yeah. you know, from the, from the sidelines and going into the new year with the new team. So you're with Brooks and Smash GC. Mm -hmm. So how excited are you to go into that new chapter of the uh, yeah. career? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's um, it's obviously a huge opportunity to you know be around one of the, the greatest of our generation, one of the greatest of all time with, with Brooks, you know, day in and day out. You know, that was, you know, for me, the, the kicker of the situation. It's like, you know, I, I always want to put myself around, you know, great golfers and obviously, you know, Bubba is great and Harold's great and TP are great, but, you know, 
Dude, Brooks has won how many majors? Five majors? You know, he's, he's one of the greatest major champions in the last, you know, few decades. And so, yeah. you know, to put myself around a guy like that in a, you know, day in and day out basis, I, I just know it's, he's going to make me better and, and he's going to push me to be a better golfer. And um, I'm super excited about that. And then obviously Jay and, and GMAC are, are great players. You know, both of them have you know, won many times in professional golf. Obviously, GMAX a major champion as well. So yeah. it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun season. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I know all of us are. It's, it's, it's going to be fun to just go out there and compete. Yeah, you guys are going to be a scary team, dude. It's going to be fun to watch. You guys all come together. So I love uh, Brooks, Jason, Graham. They're all good guys. So it's going to be fun to see you guys come together to play and compete. So yeah, big year ahead too. So fun schedule. You guys are going all over the world and. You know, just love to see what Liv's been doing, growing the game in different areas and pockets of the of the world. And, you know, it's catching on here too in the States quite a bit. You see a lot of the the angst and some of the stuff kind of uh, fizzling out a little bit and some more big names they're signing, which is great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's we'll have to go back and watch the video a year ago of, of us doing this and talking about Liv because I feel like this is a much different talk now than what it was a year yeah. ago, you know? And so it's cool, it's great. It's, it's great for the game of golf. It's great for, you know, the fans. I think it's great for for everyone, you know, that, um, you know, some of the animosity starts to subside and, and we start to come together as a community, as a golf community in, in the professional golf world, as fans, players, you know, sponsors, everyone starts to realize like, you know what, we can we can all do this together and, and we can do a lot of great together, you know, yeah. around the world. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, I'm just, man, it's it's cool to think about this season too, like going back to Adelaide, going back to Singapore, you know, going back to these places that, you know, we saw once and now they, they've seen what Liv is, they've seen the product, they've seen how much fun it is and the excitement and going back for a second year, it's just going to continue yeah. to build and build and grow. And so, uh, man, it's just, it's such a blessing and so fun to be a part of. And obviously when you play some good golf, that helps. It pays off too. So. Yeah. Well, you've got like the ultimate spot for your house. Like pretty much every guy, whether you're a pro golfer or you're an amateur golfer, dreams about. So I want to go back and check check this out because I've seen some videos, but we walked through it last year when we were here. But your sim room, your gym, all that. Yeah. Got to check this out because yeah. it just looks world class and yeah. I'm sure everybody's going to be drooling over this. Yeah, so let's absolutely. Let's do it. I'm excited to check this part out, man. Yeah. Last time we were here, we got it all framed out and you were walking us through your vision, so. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, always a dream to have um, the home gym, you know? It, it kind of gives you less of an excuse to miss a workout when you just have to walk to it, so. Right. Uh, I got with my trainer, Colby, and I said, hey, help me design this. I don't want this big, lavish, outrageous gym, but I, I wanted to have everything that we use and we need, so it's, it's very, functional, very purposeful, and like I said, it uh, it kind of gives me no excuses to not to not get it in. Oh, you have absolutely zero excuses now. So. Yeah, correct. So, uh, fitness, like lifting weights, always been a part of your regime? Yeah. As your, through your professional career? Yeah, for sure. I, um, growing up playing different sports, you know, I was always working out, you know, and so uh, whenever I pivoted to focusing on golf, you know, that was, you know, later in high school, and, um, you know, I just saw the, the future, I felt like, with, with athletes getting into golf and with golfers becoming more athletic and Tiger just set the stage for that, you know? And yeah. so I knew that if I wasn't working out and getting stronger, faster, um, you know, I was gonna be losing ground on guys. And so, um, you know, when I turned pro, I uh, kind of fought some injuries as well. And so uh, that's when I started uh, working with Colby Tulier. And, you know, ever since I got with him, you know, we've just, we've been able to get my body right and, you know, knock on wood, stay healthy and, and continue to, to, you know, gain strength and speed. Those guys have got it going. We went and toured their facility and yeah, pretty incredible to see. Yeah, yeah. All the banners are hanging there with all their athletes. Oh, yeah. They're putting them in the right spots. Hey, hang the banner, baby. Yeah, dude, this right here, this is something. Yeah, this is uh, this is like every golfer's dream come true, whether you're an amateur or a pro, right? Yeah, exactly. It was obviously, uh, you know, when you have weather like we have today, it's nice to uh, nice to be able to get inside and, and just to to hit, you know, to swing, to to stay stay moving. 
Uh, but obviously, as you can tell with some of the other parts of it, yeah. it's kind of the hangout. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's fun to have my buddies over and uh, get a little competition going, have a cocktail or two and, and, yeah. and get it going. Got some new added hardware here. You had quite the amazing season last year, man. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good year. This was, uh, this is probably the coolest. It's a little bit hidden. <laughs> is, uh, yeah, this is unbelievable. The ring. I remember being there with you in Miami when you got this handed yeah. to you. This is Mr. Yeah. Ben Baller, man. It was sick. It was sick. I had no idea. Uh, and then when Greg brought it out, I was like, okay, this is, this is as cool as it gets. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it was, it was a good year, man. It's, uh, we added, like I said, we added some trophies and yeah, see if we can do it again in 24. So what was that like for you, you know, getting your the first win under your belt? Was it in Australia, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just went on a tear. You were winning all the international events, yeah. it seemed like. And then, but I mean, just like, were you just in that zone where you just felt like you could make any shot on the course and yeah. the confidence was sky high? Yeah, it's, you know, obviously we all know how hard it is to win. And, and whenever you're playing well and you just want to ride that wave as long as possible. And so... I uh, went in back-to-back -back weeks. It was nice playing back-to-back -back weeks. You know, when you're playing that good after Australia, it's like you want to play as much as you can. And so uh, go to the next week in, in Singapore and get a win there. It was, it was awesome. And it was cool because we did it in kind of two different ways. You know, like the first week in Australia, I had a, whatever, like a 10-shot lead going to the final round. And, and then the next week in Singapore, I think I had a tie for lead or something. I was right, I don't even know if I was leading, but I was in the final group with Brooks and Sergio, and so I ended up beating Sergio in a playoff. So, you know, to have those back-to-back -back weeks where you win in two different ways, it was awesome, but also, you know, for me, great for confidence moving forward, you know, yeah. knowing, okay, you just beat everyone by a lot. Mm -hmm. And then also, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, like you beat, you know, one of the best players of this generation in a playoff, you know, yeah. and so that was great for the, you know, for the confidence and something I can, I can always look back on when, uh, when I need to in those situations. Yeah, especially in front of all those fans too. That the first dub was. No, oh, it was insane, <laughs> insane. Can't wait to get back there. You ever played in, the, uh, in front of crowds like that before? I mean, waste management's the only one that compares to it. You know, I, I <clears throat> kept telling people, you know, waste management probably had more fans on the stadium hole mm -hmm. than we had in, you know, for the water hole but I've never been in a louder environment um, because the the all of the uh, seating was so much tighter on the tee box and the green and everything I remember the first round uh, we teed up we started there that was our first hole on the first round uh, so needless to say the nerves were they were <laughs> running hot uh, but literally my caddy we had to like get into each other's ear because it was so loud that like standing like this talk like you couldn't hear each other yeah. that's how loud it was so it was it was not the most people i've i've been in front of uh but it was easily the loudest i've ever experienced yeah that's not so it was insane I'm sure it's gonna be even more rowdy this year so uh yes yeah. yes i'm excited i'm excited so this whole setup here this is uh hd golf Yep, hd golf yeah so you put a lot of work in here balance it out between on the course and yeah, yeah, you know, nothing is going to replace uh, getting work in, you know, on course, on real grass. Uh, but again, when, you know, when you have those days or those weeks where it's tough to get out because of weather or, you know, if you're the amateur that's, you know, has a nine to five and, you know, you've got kids and you can't get to the course, like, you know, getting, you know, into a sim room and, and just swinging, dude, it's just, it just helps keep you sharp and keep you moving. And so it's great for, for that part, but again, like I said, it's it's just fun, dude. It's yeah. just it's just the hangout. So it's fun having having my buddies over and having some competition and just you know just just having fun. So you got your little girls taking some space over too. So she, she's she, yeah. Into it. oh yeah, oh yeah. She's uh she her her thing that she likes to say is I want to go big boom. <laughs> so she likes to she whenever I hit, obviously in here it's loud because yeah. uh, it doesn't have anywhere to move the the noise, and so uh, that's why she's like, "Daddy, we go big boom. Let's. I want to go big boom." I'm like, "All right, baby, come on, let's go." Yeah. So it's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. No, it's a good spot, man. You can turn the music up loud, have a good time. So absolutely. But pretty sure there's gonna be some good memories in this area right here. Absolutely. So show me out here real quick. I remember you guys were talking through the plans of what you wanted to do outside. Yeah, yeah. We 
we talked a while about what this you know backyard would look like. Obviously, we wanted to do a pool and hot tub, and yeah. uh, so this space is all cool, and we got some covered patio area to you know have some fun and you know grill out and got some TVs. And when the weather's good, we're gonna be spending a bunch of time out there. You got the big pocket door there that goes into the house. Yeah, correct. And so uh, that's that's all fun and and exactly what we wanted. But then when we got out here, we're like, all right, what are we gonna do? And so first off, I said. Uh, I don't want to mow every time I get home. I'm around <laughs> mowers a lot. Yeah. Last thing I want to do is get home and have to go mow. So we turfed the whole thing, and uh, and then we added a nice little putting chipping green here. Yeah, this is sick right here. Yeah, it turned out it turned out good. It was fun, like kind of designing it. And I felt like a golf course architect designer because <laughs> uh, we were like, all right, we're gonna make this part flat, and then we're gonna like raise that up over there and then kind of run away and then we're going to put like a little backboard there to kind of chip into and so you got some tough putts and some some undulation here but yep, yep. you got six holes yep yep dude this is sick man yeah it turned out turned out really really fun there's uh again there's been some fun nights out here that, oh, that we've had imagine. so far so uh it's cool too at night all the cups light up and all the trees are kind of uplit and downlit and so even when it's dark out like you can kind of like see everything pretty nice. So it, it makes it it makes it fun, man. This is like quite the setup here. This is what Wolf Sky's dream of, right? You've got your, your sim room, your gym right there. Open the door and you've got your six hole putting green Correct. chipping area. I mean Correct. Again, like I said, I got I got no excuse to not play good golf now. I got no excuse. So yeah, it's uh You got big shoes to fill from your uh me. From how you played last yeah, year, yeah. but well, hey, you got it though. Keep it running. It's time to keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, that's right, dude. This is sick. Yeah, it turned out good. A little chilly this time of year, but yeah, yeah, that's all right. It's it's just part of it. It's nice to be forced to not be golfing all the time, yeah. you know. So, yeah. it worked out. This will get your uh, your young ones into it pretty quick too. So. Yeah, yeah, and that was one of my other thoughts. I was at first, I was like, you know what, I don't want to do this because whenever you know golf is a thing in the past for me. Like, I'm not going to use it at all, right? It's like in 10, 15, whatever, however long I decide to be done with, you know, the game, I'm like, it's not going to be, you know, as fun or as useful. But then I was like, you know what, with, you know, our girl and then our boy on the way, it's like, if this is something that we can all enjoy together, yeah, worth every every penny. So, oh, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's I'm, I'm super glad that we decided to do yeah. it. And I'm super glad that my wife was, was on board with it, too. So... That's the that's the biggest thing right there is make sure the wife signs off on yeah. it. That's right. What okay. did they, what did I say? Happy, happy happy wife, happy life. I'll let you say it. I'll that is very true. <laughs> We've got an outdoor putting area, but we made half our yard just grass like this. Yeah. Honestly, the best thing we did because the oh. kids aren't running in the mud. They're playing, oh. they're, but they love golf and they're not taking it too serious. They're just yeah. they're just having fun. Yeah. When they're around the sport, they enjoy it. So. Yeah, hundred percent. We have three dogs, and so not dealing with the mud and the grass coming yeah. in and out. Game changer. Very low maintenance. Game alone. changer. Well, sweet. Let's head back inside where it's a little bit warmer. Yeah, absolutely. So I know last year when we were with you, some of the things we talked about was your foundation and the progression and kind of how it started. But last year you had a big year for your foundation. Kind of walk me through what were you able to accomplish in and around that live event and kind of what good you guys have been able to do for the community? Yeah, it was it was great to have Liv, you know, come on board and help support, uh, you know, the foundation. And what, what they were able to do was the week of the Tulsa event, uh, the Live Tulsa event, they they gave us the golf course the, the Monday of that week to, to have a fundraiser tournament. Um, and I forget the exact figure, but we, we raised a few hundred thousand dollars just yeah. in that one day. And so, you know, we've partnered with a few local organizations, Hope is Alive and Positive Tomorrow is the, the groups that we've been with you know for a few years now and then obviously one of our focuses for the foundation is junior golf here in the state and we were able to bring the first AJGA tournament junior tournament back uh, to Oklahoma uh, they haven't had one here in a few years and so to bring the premier you know junior golf tour in, in the states uh, to bring a tournament here and showcase some of the best players uh, here locally but also kids from around the country and the world came to Oklahoma to play junior golf it's just cool and obviously I'm, I'm proud of junior golf in Oklahoma. I wouldn't be the golfer I am if it wasn't for junior golf in Oklahoma and so to continue to support and chauffeur the next generation of golfers in is is going to continue to be a focus for, for our foundation and um, 
Yeah, so you know, it, it was a great year for for the foundation, and you know, we're excited for for this year. We're we're looking at uh, right now what the year looks like. We've got a couple of events that we're gonna you know hammer down the next the next few weeks, and um, yeah, so super excited for it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I mean, it was cool just to hear the story of how it all evolved and got started, kicked off with your you know big win on the PJ Tour. And then just what you're able to do last year. And it's cool to see the league cooperating with you two here with Live, just to help you put your foot down on the pedal and raise more money. So. Yeah, yeah. It takes it takes a community. You know, yeah. you can't do anything yourself, and especially, you know, with helping others. The more people that will get behind you to help others, it's just everybody wins, and you're able to help more people. So, yeah. it's uh, it's been great to you know have players, you know, to help support, you know, and friends and family, and 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 obviously when Live gets behind, it just makes it that much better. Yeah. Well, another big year ahead, dude. So you got the, the baby coming next week. So best of luck to you and your wife for that. I know things going to go great and get your little boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> new team, new season. So, yeah, dude, best of luck, everything ahead, man. So I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, look forward to seeing you out there, buddy. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yes, sir.